First time in a long time now. Lays each on plush pillows, slender caves of raiding cones, paperback dreams in their deep toes, twitch their toes to black mambo.
trying to play cheap. Now I say it's the slow. A diamond though flies to his nose. Tickle that cheek and take your throne. Pump your veins with gushing gold. Slow.
Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to IO. We are at the quarterfinal stage. This hour's match, uh, actually, it's going to be a, a, a best of three, I should say. So, uh, really, this potentially three hours uh, match is going to be 1KPM versus Fool. I am your caster, Gellos, joined here by my co-cast, Gretchen. Hello. Uh, as I've said, we're in the quarterfinal stage, so... You know what? I can't believe it's already quarterfinal. That's right? Insane. Yeah, already. It only just started. It feels like it, it feels like it was just yesterday. Mm. I mean, compared, compa honestly, compared to the lane smash season, though. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so yeah, we're looking at a very, very good match today. 1k PM full. Uh, both, uh, I would say, uh, kind of really, really strong teams uh, throughout the tournament, so it's understandable that they would be uh, here on this quarterfinals. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, yeah. some of our rosters. You, you say that, but being being like realistic about it, 1kpm should absolutely win this. That's um, a, that's that's a, a potentially yes. However, um, I do want you know if they do perform and like if they if they play, this is their game to lose basically. Yeah, yeah this but... so. This one, this one is going to be an interesting one, and and for for a couple of reasons. I think the first map's going to be the most interesting one, honestly. But we can cut to that later. Yeah. So this is the one KPM roster here. Um, we actually do have everybody looks like registered on script. We'll explain a little bit uh, uh, about uh, our predictions there and why uh, in just a moment. But uh, let me go over who's playing here. Uh, so we've got Essing uh, played, Ashen, Joe, Crema, Felsi, and Gylo. So this one uh, uh, is a strong team here for 1KPM. It's definitely a, a very, very good uh, team, especially uh, uh, when you have people like Gailo on there uh, and Essing on there. Very, very, just just all around very, very good uh, team. Also well, playing uh, in C as well, on the bottom right. There, 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 there is a slight downside like, mm -hmm. or an issue with that team is that Played, Lucrema, um and Essing haven't really been playing the game. Yeah. But they're all still very good players, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, some rust can come into it, but honestly, uh, I would I would still give it, you know, because you have plenty of players who come in that are, you know, they they were very good long before, and they come in a little rusty, and they if they take like I don't know, ten minutes, and then they're they're warmed up and, oh, and yeah. good to go, and they probably have already played some some little bit of pog or live or something to kind of warm up. Very likely, we're gonna see some some pretty good plays by them anyway. Everybody, this is a test of the ref whisperless. Please type Gallus in the chat if you can hear me. All right, so they're going to be doing that. Uh, while they're doing that, <clears throat> head on over to roster two, where we have the Fool lineup. So Fool, if you uh, if you don't know what this team is, they are um, they're kind of similar to, or at least this is my assumption of what they were supposed to be. Uh, they they were like the the backs uh, B team to the backs no, A team, no, but no, in no, this Fool wrong, lineup. So yeah, wrong, exactly. No, that, no, you're right. No, you're right. No. Wrong. You, that is wrong. That's right. That's what I yeah. assumed. I that can it was explain going to be. it, because it's much listen, more listen. of a, a a very strong team on their own. Go ahead. Go ahead. Explain okay. a little bit more the, about. Yeah, it's um, it's a bunch of the full players that played on the previous scrim team. A lot of them as well, but they they want to do like you know how the full team nowadays is like a bunch of stinky ML players on there. Like I don't know. Spy, oh, don't I ever. Spy, Father Time, even Sabrowski. <laughs> and these guys were like, man, fuck this. We want to do a scrim team of, of our outfit. Loyalist. Yes. <laughs> I, I respect it. Hell yeah. And uh, that's why they made a team of plus feed team members. <laughs> so uh, what we have registered on script right now is Mr. Bubbles, Korer, Sobek, Lucasmo, and Empowered. We're waiting on the 6th to get registered on there as well. Uh, but a pretty strong team there as well. Uh, excited about this match, and there you can, you can see on the bottom right, they are going to be playing TR. Now, one more thing to go over. This is a three-map format, potentially, anyway. Uh, I have this deliberately covered up so you can't see everything. We're going to talk about it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We're going to talk about it in uh, in order. So, the first one is going to be Ganon here. This one is going to be... A, it's a classic sort of map there. Uh, you you kind of you've you've seen this map pretty much played in every tournament uh, uh, since the dawn of time, really. Uh, so this is uh, this one's going to be a very flank heavy one. You want to definitely have some good roof power, uh, but uh, uh, it's it's something that is more classically played, uh, and it's uh, it's going to be an interesting one uh, to see how Fool kind of plays it because they're 
Uh, I think in for uh, a bit of a tough time going up against Ooh. one Kagan, who I believe has played this very, very I, well in the past. Okay, I was hoping for L to log in, love that liberator, mm -hmm. as the sixth for Fool, and he just did. And I think him playing is going to make this map very interesting. Yeah. Because he's, um, he's a tiny brain player. He just runs <laughs> in. He just runs right at you and tries to like outduel you. Yeah. And um, Some, it works sometimes. KTM, I've seen him do it before him, DDRG. Are traditionally bad at um, dealing with aggression on this map mm -hmm. and yeah. having someone like L just turbo in there if you can rally the team behind them could work out really well for them and they do start on the strong side of yep. the map. The second map we're going to be seeing is going to be Paris. That one's going to be an LA centric map uh, and that one is going to be extremely important for the uh, for both teams to be playing their absolute best for LA's and then if it goes on to the third map we're going to be seeing Rashnu. No check! No check for this uh, particular lineup. Uh, so it is going to be a, a very, very interesting, uh, potentially three maps. So the first one we're going to be doing is Ganon. We'll head right into the in-game screen here. Uh, 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 don't worry, I'm not buying the Lynx helmet. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll <laughs> go right down here and let them know uh, that the cast is ready. Uh, now, Sobek said two minutes, he's still wiping. I'm not sure why he's wiping. <laughs> You guys got to get rid of that white screen for you. There we go. Come up with something. All right. So, uh, for anybody that has uh, has not really seen a lot of Ganon uh, played this tournament, which I don't, uh, I don't blame you. It's it's been a lot of Chak. It's been a lot of Paris, uh, and and not a whole lot of the more classic maps like Pale and Ganon. So, uh, I'll talk a little bit about how this map sort of uh, flows while we're waiting on everybody. Uh, so. The, uh, the spawns are going to be on the north and south, fairly simple. Looks like we've got Fool here starting on the south side, uh, as well as uh, one KPM on the north side. Now, the way you would kind of go into this, uh, uh, you know, thinking without, you know, a lot of experience with this map, you probably think that the higher ground, you know, the north side would be the ideal uh, Plus side. Plus you get the roof jump. Yeah, the, um, yep. the south side doesn't get a roof jump yep. anymore since the um, bridge yep. uh, roof has been banned. Yeah, so... You know, you would probably be going into this uh, if you had more of that sort of live of a mindset. You'd be thinking, you know, north side definitely has the advantage. They can go in, they can get a higher ground. Uh, they got that roof jump, lots and lots more access like that. You could potentially be wrong, though. A lot of the times we have seen south side being the strongest side uh, for Ghana. And the reason for that is because it has three entrances, so you can split your uh, uh, push in a lot better. Uh, then up here on the north side where you kind of choked into dubs as long as you don't actually utilize your flanks now flanks come very very important into this map though uh, if you're not utilizing these flanks you are going to potentially get locked out of the building fairly often uh, so what ends up happening here is south can actually uh, lock the north side out very very well uh, whereas uh, north side it, they have a bit of a tougher time locking out and doing the spawn locks over here on the fat side uh, where you can see you can cover from door one you can cover from swamp stair you can cover from roof but sometimes it does get very difficult to do that if uh, say south side is you know pulling something like a very good bolt or uh, a solid la to go up there and actually uh, sort of break out uh, whatever roof control you might have uh, so don't expect too too hard of a spawn lock from north to south uh, unless uh, uh, one team is absolutely playing it extremely well we've seen it happen but most of the time south side does have the advantage when it comes to this so uh, we do expect, usually, that Southside gets a, uh, a an advantage with cap. Uh, we have seen most of the time that Southside gets the cap, uh, and then when you flip, the Southside once again gets the cap on the second half as well. Uh, so, you know, it's going to very likely be that way. Uh, these teams are, are expected to play pretty well against each other. Uh, uh, you know, these are two very, very strong teams. I'm, I'm, as I've said already, this is, this is a, a, an exciting kind of lineup for them. Now, as Gretchen mentioned, there is a wall climb. This can also be utilized very, very effectively uh, for the flanks for this one. The uh, the roof seconds. right here. Oh, I heard seconds. I didn't. Does he? Did he? Did he say twenty seconds? Seconds. <laughs> Looks like. Appreciate sure that twenty. I think yell chat's also Ten? confused. Ten. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll just we'll skip the rest of that. We'll just go right down to full Five, side. I will start four, by watching them. Three, two, one. Mitch stop. Mitch stop. All right. Guess so what? One bolt or one LA for heavy squad. That's a classic, game. classic squad comp. Ooh, Same for the full team as well. 
Mr. Bubbles there on LA and Luke Cosbo on both. Rest all on heavy. You don't you know, usually Mr. see Bubbles it. versus uh, Ashen it should be a very decisive um, LA duel win for Ashen, but we'll see. We'll it's, see. Well, I believe you'd in think Mr. So. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles has actually been really, really good this tournament, so we'll see how yeah. it actually ends up going. We'll see. Ooh, a good breakthrough here so far for 1kpm. Great pincer into Hall. They have actually cleaned out full 6-4 to four on the opener there, and they're going to get cap started now. Uh, well, it actually, Fool did get a little bit of time on it, but not very much. Now, Fool is just going to have to be able to push back in. This is where Southside tends to get the advantage, where 1kpm gets a little bit of building control. Fool can actually come back into the building a lot more easily uh, than you'd probably expect. So let's see how they do this push. You got two, Look at three 1 KPM stack. all sitting all the way back. Yeah. This is... Yeah. This is, this is sort of a, a, a... Kind of a normal... If you're if you're pulled back really far uh, already and you know that the team is coming in, this is kind of a, a, what you would expect. Uh, door one drop here by... Uh, who is that? Uh, Joe Crema coming in to sort of clean up. But uh, already we had a lot of cleanups there by the 1KPM team. Uh, scores know, now 12 to 6. Setting back like that after you got a full wipe is not what I expect. I would expect the team to push up and go aggressive to get more score, but it, it worked out for if, them. If the full wipe had come without a lot of deaths, but remember, full did get about four kills there on that opener, so they didn't they didn't have a ton of time to get in there and actually start going for a full push. Uh, I think that's probably why they were holding back on Hall. But we'll see actually if if they continue that because right now they had uh, they had control and it looks like they didn't actually take advantage and go for that that spawn lock like you would, you uh, uh, were just saying. Uh, they actually did hold back continuously. So. Oh, a door was that a door three drop down? No, that's uh, Ashen there on roof. Has not dropped down though. But you can see here, Fool getting control of the building once again. Ashen trying to get a little damage, but he gets backed off as well. Good move by Ashen to leave though. He's, you don't really want to stick around in there for too long. Yeah. He relaxed all his heavy sweat out and there was nothing to do for him. Mm -hmm. So Ashen here is just going to stick around on that roof. Might get some spots on. camp out bubbles here. Yeah. yeah, that's an important thing for the LA to do too. You, you do need to actually make sure that the other LA can't, uh, can't sort of. Uh, get any kind of roof control because it locks down your flanks very effectively if that happens. Let's take a look at the inside fight here as we're moving on. Looks like Fool's getting a little bit more control here. They have lost two people though. They've taken one and Empower trading out as well though. Gylo there finally going down. There's only two players left inside a hall. Let's take a look at the roof here where I do hear a heavy. Looks like uh, Felsi coming down takes out Mr. Bubble. Ashen now free to go into door one. Sobek and Love That Liberator coming to door two. Ashen definitely recognizes. Get some damage, kills one. Yeah, L so back trading typical out. L play there. <laughs> All right. Scores now 21 to 17. 22, 17. Now 1kpm doing another push inside. They're doing very, very good with this push. They're actually getting a hall control now. Heading down to point. So right now, 1kpm in the lead. Not by too much, but it should be noted they are on what is technically the weaker side for Ghana. Uh, so right now, it's, it is, uh, they're actually doing extremely well. You want to have uh, a surplus of points when you're on south side, you know, ending into half, uh, because it's expected you're going to have a tougher time on the second half. So if 1kpm actually comes out uh, on top in, in the first half, uh, their they're, uh, fool is going to be in, a, in for a very rough uh, uh, next half. Oh, good clean there by fool, only losing one on fat stairway. They do still have Felsi on flank though, and I'm not sure they're aware. Let's go see. Felsi is just sitting above door one. Ah, yes, there he is. Oh, he, he, he does hear the LA. He hears either, the LA though. Yeah. He's, he's aware of him. Ah, there's Ash in there to clean oh. up Mr. Bubbles. Didn't even give Felsi away at all. Felsi now going for the flank from door one. He has a great angle on Lucasmo and takes him out. Uh, LK does go down Ashen. Horror in the corner. Take us the crossfire here. Because we're not trying to do that. Uh, Elvin on the jungle flank here. That's where this goes. I think they're aware, yeah. Yeah. He's gone back. Probably would have been a mistimed flank anyway. He doesn't have enough uh, enough of a team uh, presence there on the fat doors yeah. to really make that work. So that's a good call there by uh, by Liberator not, uh, not, not pushing that one. Probably could do it now, though. 
I don't think he will. Rise to the moment you can no, he's already set on main stairs. Ah, yep. So here comes some more conks. Empowered and LTL both down. Quarter now down as well. Sobek about to get pushed. He is super lit. He took your creep at least. Felsi Might here. Have been Zach, actually. Yep, Felsi taking him. And then played cleaning up Lucasbo in the back on the point. Scores 36 to 27 in favor of 1 KPM. Again, if you're full, you need to have a surplus of points on the first half because uh, it's expected you're not going to get as many on the second half. Uh, so right now, 1 KPM is absolutely dominating very effectively on this first half where they they're actually have the weaker side. Ooh, LTL shuffling the hell out of that. He's but he is going to get dropped. Oh, oh my god, he's, he's still alive. alive! No, he finally does go down. Good distraction for a while, though. It did stop Ashen from killing people off of door one. Unfortunately, Sobek did eventually go down anyway. You know, that could have been a Kawhi moment, but not quite. <laughs> All right, now this is what we wanted to see. One KPM going for a more of a spawn lock position. Ooh, Play here good coming push up on, by ooh, Bubbles. Yeah, great push by Mr. Bubbles there. Takes a double. Can he get in one more? No, he finally oh, does get almost. a ton of damage to, to Joe Krima, though. All right, G Power here, the only one left. He's just here on door one. He could easily get a, just a quick well, let's pick. Let's to help him. That's true, he does have Ashen. But uh, pushing ah. down Swamp Stairs, probably not the play as a yeah, bolt. Yeah, it's bolt. <laughs> that's, uh, that's ballsy. Well, G Power is a bit ballsy. True. Expect a e right. does not care. He will does just... Aggressive man with an aggressive hand. Scores 44 to 32, still well in favor of 1kpm on the weaker side. Looking very, very good for them on this first half. Still eight minutes left in this match, though. Ooh, LTL taking some damage off of door one. They have, they've, they've, they, I'm pretty sure they're getting more aware of Felsi uh, doing this door one flank fairly consistently. Uh, it's a smart play. You do want to be doing those flanks a lot. But as long as Fool is actually, uh, you know, uh, getting more aware of this flank Ooh, happening over and over again, Ashen. they that can actually Ashen counterplay should have won that. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Bubbles there does take it. So roof control right now. He did call it out, I'm sure, though. So they're going to be looking up there. And they are actually already damaged. Joe Krima backs him off. Gylo coming upstairs. Oh, it's, Mr. Bubbles oh takes, my him God, too. He takes him, too. Okay, so back here gonna... on the flank, this could be very good for Fool. I was gonna call. Oh, gets one and goes down immediately. G power. I was gonna call Bubbles out for pushing in the situation when he shouldn't, but it worked out. Yeah. And he takes Ashen again. Oh, Good beautiful. Job. He's cracked. Liddy was right. Oh, Mr. Bubbles here with the drop down, but they turn immediately on him. Oh my yeah, God, who is that? that inside? That's Lucasbo, absolutely bolting the hell out of the out of the one KPM team. Fool now locking one KPM out of the doors. This is more of what you would you you kind of see a lot of times. Um, just this lockout from uh, from south to north. Uh, now, what one KPM did here was just uh, just kind of push it through anyway. Uh, Lucasbo there holding off of Skinny along with Sobek, but a big push here means that they're going to be uh, they're going to very like oh never mind I take it back. Yeah, he did take I'm one. I'm surprised he got one there honestly. Yeah, I, I thought that was going to be just a, a two man die. Horror here get pushed. He's getting dropped as well by Ash and going down. Rise to the moment you can prevail. And Power might be able to get one here. He trades out with Gylo. One KPM is starting to make a comfortable lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scores now 57 to 45. They're over a 10 point lead, which is great for them. They And of course, they're also getting a good amount of time on that cap. I don't know if we're going to see a cap here by them. Uh, I think it's just been too much back and forth. Uh, as well as them being on the side that's tougher to actually cap that. Uh, but, I mean, it is still possible. Mr. Bubbles here taking a ton of damage. He actually backs off, and then Cosmo also going down to uh, uh, Ashen there on the roof. Oh, Mr. Bubbles was a... Yeah, he got swung there. Minute uh, uh, 10 left spotted. on this cap, potentially. Fool having a tough time breaking into this building, too. Oh, Lucasbo going down. Ooh, LTL also taking a ton of damage here. Can he get one? No, he goes down. I actually didn't do any damage either, either. Oh, this is where this is where one KPM can get a ton more points. Where this spawn lock happens, they're, they're, they're getting a lot of kills without actually losing a lot of people. Can someone remove Gumbo's moderator and ban him? <laughs> He's 
being toxic again. Please, somebody. Please, Melbourne. Gylo here with a bunny hop inside of Sobek. Takes him out. G power and Gylo here in the corner. Oh, wow. That was a hell of a shot. Okay. G power this, actually... this is a proper lockout now. Yeah. They're actually doing this. Yep. This is really what you want to see if you're on that north side. You got to do this kind of lockout. But uh, damn, if 1KPM wasn't already playing well before this anyway. Cosbo here looking for an angle for door three. I think he's just looking for a, a quick pick because they don't have the numbers right now. They're about to lose cap as well. That's going to be huge too. Scores now 80 to 48. Well in the lead for 1kpm. And again, I got to stress, they are on what is considered the weaker side for Gone and South. So it's going to be an even rougher time for Fool on the second half potentially, uh, depending on how they play it. Fool now just trying to get regrouped. You can see a bit of a, uh, a sort of um, break in their cohesion for a little while there as they were getting camped out from door one. But now they're finally getting regrouped a little bit here. Might be more because 1kpm's pulling back a bit. For whatever reason, they pulled all the way back into, say, server and uh, point, as well as hall. Korra here going down on uh, fat stairway, and Ashen gets uh, a very good kill there as well. Sobek with the... Uh... Actually, I take that back. Ashen got taken out there. Sobek uh, taking him, and then Sobek going down on door one. Mr. Bubbles there is on roof as well, so some LA control here. But, of course, it is still 1kpm in control of this building. Alright, Fool now getting regrouped. We're looking at a potential door 2 push. Although, they do have to worry about this door 3 angle here. Where we do have Felsi and Gylo. Very, very strong combination. But, Empowered takes both of them. Power does pull back. He's going to wait for a teammate. He's got LTL here with him now. Love that Liberator throwing the conk upstairs. Don't know if that really hit anybody. I think it might have, but it's hard to tell anymore because of the, uh, the ocular shields. Joe Creamy here ta taken out in corner. Meanwhile, Essing stuck in the, uh, in the hallway. Can't get a shot off either. Goes down. Still got Gylo up here in server box, though. Oh, gets taken out as well. Cosmo with a beautiful shot. Now we are waiting on 1kpm to get back up to dubs. They are well in the lead, though. Getting cleaned out of uh, out of the building wasn't too rough on them, to be, uh, to be entirely honest. They did do some trades out, too. Wait, did they get the cap? Yeah, they did. They did, yeah. Yeah, they, they I don't think the cap is on the score yet. On the uh, script yet. It should be. I'm looking at it on my end, but it, maybe the uh, I might have the the wrong one on uh, on um, uh, stream. I don't I'll have the little flag on the overlay I'm looking at. Okay, I'll take a look. And on that's caps. the indicator for that. Does it well, say? I'm sure the say rest I can take. Okay. Hmm? Does it say 102 on it? Yes. Oh, okay, so and it is I don't see counted. the little I don't see the little flag that indicates capture though. That's odd. I always thought that. Uh, let me just check real quick. Oh, no, that's there. I see it. Okay. I guess I don't know. I'm I'm not allowed to see it. <laughs> it's weird. You're blind, Gwetches. No. All right. Fool once again in control of Hall. Uh, we're just looking at uh, the last minute here. Uh, Fool could potentially just get a couple more points here if they can continue this lockout. But really, one KPM has had a fantastic first half. Uh, again, again, I gotta stress, this was the weaker side, so Fool is going to potentially have an even rougher time on this second half, uh, uh, assuming that uh, they, they, you know, uh, one KPM continues to play this well. Last 30 seconds to round this all out. Fool heading back inside is uh, they're getting a little over aggressive there, maybe. Ah, uh, they're gonna lock them out now, guys. They're gonna freak out. Watch this. This is it. This is where the points come back, baby. Let's go. Lip about to get a, hmm, a quad. Oh, let's say a quad kill, girls. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, Lucas. Oh, there it is. So time. End the of first half. half. End of half.
Scores came to 108 to 78 in favor of 1KPM. Half score is 98, 1KPM. Fool, 78. They say 98? That's odd. Why are you wondering? Hmm. I think Pavo can't read numbers. That's, that's, that's possible. Um, well, we'll go with whatever the ref calls because uh, they are the ref. So we'll say one. We'll say ninety-eight for right now. Maybe, maybe something, maybe something happened on script that I don't know about. Well, I actually disagree with that score. Well, all right then. Either way, uh, let's take a look at our individual Get scores off. while we're uh, while we're waiting on the uh, halves to flip. Uh, yes, Gretchen. All right then. Uh, so for the one KPM side, uh, everybody positive, which is a fantastic uh, result here. Again. You know, that's that's going to be really rough for Fool can be uh, on the next uh, half where one KPM is going to have all of those entrances to come in uh, to very good pushes, strong pushes, and then potentially those very, very good flanks as well around on Swamp side. Uh, and if they continue with that roof control as well, Ashen has been doing very well there. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be super rough for them to have to deal with those kind of flanks. Uh, so uh, we have, it looks like... Played is top frag of the game right now. Six net score, 20 kills, 14 deaths. Doing and he doesn't even phenomenal. play the game anymore. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, he's he clearly, clearly, do, you know, it's, no, uh, he's, doing quite yeah, well. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's doing really well. And he Extremely, doesn't even play yeah. anymore. Uh, and then Gylo as well, 17 kills, uh, two net score. Uh, and then Felsi, 16 and uh, four net score. Everybody else, 15 kills exactly. Uh, very, very good job here. Again, I do need to, to stress, though, that Ashen, uh, I believe, was more uh, of the uh, sort of linchpin, as well as Felsi, uh, too. Uh, those two particular players were responsible for a lot of the sort of uh, uh, pincer pushes inside of door one. Uh, we saw great control by the by the uh, uh, sort, sort of door one area as well by those two players. Um, those two in particular actually did lock down uh, building control quite well for the team and allowed everybody else to, to really pick up a lot of those kills uh, very effectively. So good on those two specific players. Uh, the rest of these guys, however, doing fantastic all in their own rights as well. Uh, now for the full side, everybody here is negative, but, but should be noted, not by that much. I mean, these are scores you can come back from. Um, Taking a look at Mr. Bubbles, he's only negative one, 13 and 14. We actually saw some good plays by him. He actually took out Ashen uh, quite a few times as well. Um, went for some drop downs, but a lot of the times they just weren't super successful. And I think that has to do a little bit more with uh, just how how south to north works with the, with the drop downs, because it is fairly exposed from spawn side. Uh, so you can get either spotted out or or killed outright. A lot of times he just didn't really have the uh, the ability to really push into that dub side without getting either spotted or killed outright. Uh, so a little unfortunate there. Uh, Lukasbo also should be noted. Very very good bolt work by him. Uh, did some great shots. We saw. Uh, we also saw in some interesting spots by Corer in uh, in the corner sometimes uh, in Hall. Also a very sneaky player. Uh, so good job here by uh, by by the fool players, but uh, of course they are getting uh, uh, you know out fragged on inside the building, and that is important. One KPM is uh, uh, you know same exact squad comp. It's just they are uh, um, it, it, on an individual level. I feel like are winning some of these fights. Uh, it feels like the team play is still there for both of these guys. It's just that one KPM is just coming out on top in terms of uh, the gunplay. Uh, unfortunately for fool, so we'll see if they can they can turn it around though, because uh, you know. Uh, if the teamwork keep, kind of keep, kicks in a little bit more for, for the full side, if they can get some of these flanks going in, especially some, some good timings, uh, it, it could turn things around on the next half. Uh, so we're hoping to see that from full. Let's go ahead and go back into the main game screen here. Just let them All know right, we're match will start on the next stick in 50 seconds. As uh, as Liddy is saying, by the way, uh, Mr. Bubbles is cracked. He's uh, he's yeah. gotten very, very good uh, uh, over the past few years that we've been kind of watching Mr. Bubbles. Uh, absolutely a great LA now. Thirty. Better than you, at least. Well, hold on a second. I didn't know. Nah, I didn't go that far. Well, then, then it, sorry. That was <laughs> rude towards Mr. Bubbles, actually. What the Who hell? Isn't better than Gallus. What does that mean? Fifteen seconds. How are you? So bad at planet side, and I sometimes mean, you just you just frag out. You're better at battlefield than you are at planet side. You have probably ten thousand hours in the game. <laughs> Two, one, second half start. I'll have you know I'm very very good. I'm actually one of the best. Okay, my bad. 
I, I didn't know your name was Alvester. That's me. Hi, Alvester. <laughs> All right, so same squad comp here uh, by the full team. Uh, not, we didn't really expect any kinds of uh, changes. Now, one interesting thing is no roof heavy right off the bat. I was kind of expecting that. No LA on roof either. Everyone oh, early frags. Actually, early trades. Ashton Everybody trading out. Behind. Everybody trading out so far. Uh, actually, both teams uh, have completely traded. Oh, but Ashen's going to tip the balance there. That is going to be a, uh, a 1 KPM uh, clean inside the building. Mr. Bubbles all alone on point. Oh, oh no. no. Yep, yep, he gets taken out by Ashen, it looks like. Uh, let's see here, I think we're waiting on... Ah, here we are, Don't we got cry. three players here on dubs now. Felsi here on the right angle right there, look at that, just a disgusting place to hold. Right angle, Big yours. I've been saying here. it for years, Gavins. Oh, Lucasmo failing to, to actually hit those bolts. Oh, and Felsi here to clean up a double. Sobek just getting completely pushed out the building. Mr. Bubbles at least did hold Ashen off on the roof, so uh, Sobek's not at risk of being dropped down or anything. He can just hold off here. Scores now 118 to 83 in favor of 1KPM. Looking extremely well here as they're just getting ready for the lockout. This... You are this is where this. Fool's gonna have an extremely Showman. tough time. Uh, you can be locked out of this building. I've seen some of the best teams out there get locked out of this building sometimes from this angle. Uh, it's it's super, super rough if this is played Yeah, where have well. you seen got locked out here? Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, I have seen, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, uh, the Bax team has been locked out of this building before. You said one of the best teams, Gavis. Uh, 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 you uh, were on that team, don't lie to I'm, me. Uh, 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 Ash in there with a beautiful <laughs> flank in. <laughs> Takes out uh, uh, Lucasbo. Scores now 124 to 87. Again, this is this is where one KPM can make a ton of points if they just keep doing wipes like that. The power there running into a conk and going through the wall for a moment. Ooh. Let's merge with the wall. Joe Krima here, likely to take that. Yep, he does take him power there. Very gross angle there to be on. Sobek, however, does take Gylo, but gets cleaned up by Felsi. Good double uh, peaking there by the one KPM team. They are playing extremely well together. You know, we, we didn't really note this on half, but, uh, you know, the one KPM team is actually playing quite well in terms of I team play. They're staying grouped right up very well. You know, it's hard to not play super well as a team on this one unless you're just not ever going to, to do any kind of flanks when you don't have any um, uh, control of the building. Uh, a little unfortunate, I feel like that, that Fool is kind of suffering from that specific angle, actually. It does feel like, uh, uh, you know, we see Mr. Bubbles hitting that roof, but you do need some flank power in there sometime. Ooh, LTL. Oh! Traded out, though, by Essing. Ashen taking a double. Great drop down there by uh, by Ashen. That is full once again wiped off of Dub. Locked out of the building still. Mr. Bubbles heading on up. Getting a little spots off. He's not going too aggressive here. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to just run right into Dub. Love that Liberator takes Gylo. Good first pick. And Power stuck in the corner. He does take out the bolt. This is a good two first picks by Fool. Can they uh, can they follow this up with a haul push? Not if they don't have a flank, I don't think, because it looks like Ashen has just uh, killed everybody on dubs. And Felsey yeah. as well. So that that right there, that's the kind of flank that we need to see from from, from Fool. Uh, those those sort of flanks from Swamp Side are extremely effective. You just saw the entire push on dubs get completely wiped out. Ashen plus Felsi there on the flank. Fantastic uh, play by those two. Now Fool here trying to get some more uh, uh, presence inside the building. They're just stuck inside a server right now. We'll see if they can actually make a push before Ashen does another drop down. It looks like Gylo was actually the one that made a, uh, a flank here this time. And uh, again, Fool just getting wiped out before they can really make their push. Oh, wait, we might see some uh, flank power here from Sobek and Mr. Bubble. Sobek kind of giving himself away a little bit on the Gus, did you know that Ashen has a KD of 3 in this tournament? Really? Yeah. 
is that is quite impressive. He doesn't. I can't even get a KD You're three such a on fucking live. Idiot. Oh, uh. You're so stupid. I, I don't either. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe he does. I have no idea. The Cosmo looks like went for a flank there off of door three. Oh. Ash in there taking out Mr. Bubbles. Sobek is still uh, up here on the roof. Uh, I think he's waiting for a moment, but his his um, his moment has passed, unfortunately. Uh, his team is once again dead inside of server. We're gonna see if you know if Sobek stays on this roof, he can still uh, potentially get a flank off. It's just he has to wait for the right timing. Let's see if he uh, he takes advantage this time. It's uh, Core Empowered and LTL all coming up to Dubs right now. They gotta make at least a pick and uh, get a little get a little bit of wiggle room inside the building here. Looks like Sobek might go for it here. Let's see how uh, let's see how effective he is. Good first pick by Sobek. He does get taken out afterwards though. Mr. Bubbles try to clean up and he goes down as well. Good counter there by the one KPM team. They actually turned around fairly quickly on that one. Oh, and Lucasbo getting knifed. Oh, someone take Gamos Admin rights away on mod rights. I constantly have to unban people. <laughs> Scores Very right now annoying. are 167 to 104 in favor of 1kpm. Looking very, very good for 1kpm. Uh, so far, it looks like they may just take the first map, uh, as the way they've been playing this one has just been extremely, extremely good for them. Conk coming yeah. out here to dubs. Does look like it hits Sobek, and I think he's got Ocular Shield, so it's not too big of a deal. Oh, played here, maybe looking for a flank. Yeah, Ooh, he's coming. He does come. Sobek might check this. Uh, uh, doesn't look like he it. Doesn't though. Played with one. Played with two. Played with three. Beautiful, beautiful flank there by played. He's going to completely retreat, go all the way back to door one. He's done his job. He can retire. He's gone now. He might die to Sobek Damn it. he does, but he gets traded. Ten feet away from retirement and Plate gets taken out off of door one. Uh, that's how they get you. That's Ellis. how they get you. Did Essen just... Did he just get a pick? What the hell? Oh, there he is. Yeah, empowered over here on the left. I saw him peek out there, take a shot, but I didn't think he hit anything. But I looked at the, the scoreboard. He did kill somebody. Like a half a millisecond peek, too. Incredible. You know what felt he's doing it again? Oh, let's see if he gets this to go. Oh, yeah. Well, that was played last time. Let's see if Felsi is as effective. Felsi has been doing this fairly consistently, though. I will say that. Uh, a lot of damage. One pick, but goes down. But Ash in there to clean up means his whole team is now able to roll outside clean up the last player. Fantastic push there by Felsi, uh, as well as his team. Mr. Bubbles, you know, the only one left alive. He's just going to hang out here on the top. He does have to worry about Ashen. The only thing he needs to really do right now is just keep Ashen off the roof while his team gets regrouped. Oh, I think he hears Ashen. Oh, but Mr. Bubbles actually getting uh, taking a little bit of damage there. Felsi was expecting this. Good team play there by both Felsi and Ashen. And a drop down by Gylo means that this is going to be a pincer. Yep, and they've taken out the entire full team again. This is this is what I was talking about on that first half. You know, the this half is the weaker side uh, for most teams because of uh, this particular kind of lockout. Uh, when you can't get your flanks going, you yourself get pincered a lot uh, like this. Ooh, Mr. Bubbles going down early on this push means Ashen has great control over this roof. We might see a drop down here in a moment. I think we're about to see it. Oh, Sobek is waiting for him, though. Oh, yeah. Good kill by Sobek. He was waiting for that one. Unfortunately, it does mean that he couldn't help with the inside push. He goes down as he peeks inside. He doesn't go down to inside. He goes down to the flank from Swamp. Actually. Was that? Okay. Yep. I was wondering who got the pick there. Felsen here also taking out Mr. Bubble. And gets taken out himself finally, but uh, good, good uh, 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 full life there. Ooh, Sobek also getting taken out on bridge flank. Bridge flank is a lot more dangerous uh, than than the uh, swamp flank. 
uh, it's it's just so much more visible, and there's a lot more head glitches for either side if you're looking at, from that flank. Lucasbo. What's the second map, Gellis? What's that? What's the second map? The second map? Second map's going this, to be Paris. The, this this map feels pretty done. There's an 80 mm -hmm. point lead. 80, yeah, 80. Yeah, at this point, I think we can probably already call it for 1 KPM. I think this is definitely going to be their, their win. I don't think Fool can really uh, recover any anymore. Um, it's just, like, even if they were to play 100% perfectly, I, it just does not feel like they can, they can come back uh, in terms of how much score they would have to recover. Uh, the next map is hopefully going to be a little bit more challenging for 1kpm to actually, uh, 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 you know, get this kind of a dominating lead. Uh, and it's going to be because of how uh, that map gets played out. But uh, I'll explain a, a little bit more of that uh, once we get into halftime. Uh, for right now, uh, we just want to see if Fool can kind of recover uh, a little bit of their cohesion. Because they have potentially up to three maps to play. Uh, so they have to they have to sort of they can't break down uh, uh, too early uh, uh, if that makes sense their their cohesion does have to stick around for a long time they made it to quarterfinals uh, uh, you know for this long it's it's expected that these teams all will play very very well and honestly fool is playing decently well I think the the problem here is that they're not utilizing the maps kind of quirks to their uh, advantage as much as one kpm is um, 1kpm just, you know, they, they play this map very well, they've played this map for a long time very well, and uh, it, it is definitely showing here. This is a, a very old map with uh, uh, very specific things you need to make advantage of, or take advantage of, and it just does not feel like Fool is able to, to take advantage of it. I'm pretty sure they picked this map as the first map, though. Really? Fooled it? That yeah, is a they surprise, did. because I, I don't know how much experience they have with this map, but it doesn't feel like they they were really playing it super well. It felt like, but more of a more of an ah, inexperienced kind of thing. Like, no, no, no. They're just getting outshot. It is. There is some of that. We are seeing that on the inside, um, a little bit on the roof as well. As Ashen has taken Mr. Bubbles quite a few times, uh, but uh, of course. You know, the, the, those those flanks are so critical to this map, and we're just not seeing it from the full side, unfortunately. There, there was a lot of attempts at flanks in the first half, but they, they never went through because they got outshot on the inside before that, so they couldn't. Yeah. Like, they know how to play this map, they're just, they're just not managing to, like, win their engagements. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so a little bit maybe uh, the frag I mean, power the... on the inside, I feel like, maybe. I, I wonder if it would be worth... There, uh, there definitely is an element of people just running in, like especially, especially live. But, yeah, you that know, was... That's expected. And you do need that people that, those people that just front line. But maybe don't run in when there's no one else. Yeah, that was a bit of a... Uh, that, was an, that was an interesting push there. All right, some more Desi splashes coming out. Not a lot of damage on Desi splashes, unfortunately. Corer getting taken out. Sobek here behind uh, server box, but he's getting pushed by Felsi. Lucasbo looking for maybe one last pick before going down. Can he get one? He does. He gets Felsi before dying. Oh, fantastic shot there by Essing. Gylo here just shuffling his ass back inside of dubs. Once he gets inside the, the hallway area, the, uh, pretty much any member of 1kpm is probably going to be safe there. Because at this point, uh, Fool has been locked out so uh, often outside of dubs that they are much more hesitant to push inside uh, super quickly. You can see a lot of that happening uh, uh, throughout this match. Uh, a lot more often in the later stages of the second half as well. Joe Krima here cleaning up LPL. Meanwhile, Sobek was uh, on a flank. Does go down, though, uh, as it looks like we had a counter flank from Plate. Scores right now at 235 to 137 as we wrap up the last 20 seconds. 1KPM uh, coming out with almost a 100-point lead here on only one map so far. Oh, it's so All right. 
Oh, oh, okay, that's time. Never mind. Who cares anymore? He took All root right. control. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these scoreboards while we are uh, uh, waiting on everybody to get to the next map. So, as we saw here, I want to go over this quickly. Let me go over the, uh, let me grab a snapshot. Act. Just in case the refs end up changing it out. All right, so. Uh, Three, two, one, and it's gone. <laughs> so for uh, one KPM side, they came out uh, with two thirty-seven. Phenomenally well played here by one KPM. Just you know, you could tell. Uh, uh, you know, they they went into this knowing how how many times they're going to be doing those flanks. Absolutely, always going to be uh, having somebody up there on the roof and doing a flank. Uh, and it played so so well. Uh, Ash in there with uh, thir with 17 net, 36 kills. He did fantastic on that roof. Uh, we also have played with top frag of the game, 19 net, 43 kills, 25 deaths, uh, and 21 damage assists as well. Damage assist wise, one KPM also comes out on top. And again, it's that spawn lockout that does a such a big uh, uh, thing for them. Uh, you you really do uh, sort of see uh, those spawn lockouts being just the, a major major part of this. Um, this particular map, and uh, it definitely felt like one KPM came into this, uh, you know, uh, knowing exactly that they were going to just focus that that spawn lock uh, very, very well, and they did. They did extremely well. Um, all the heavies going positive by good amount as well. Fantastic job, just just overall by uh, by the one KPM side. Fool looking a lot rougher. We did see Sobek, however, uh, on quite a few flanks uh, or attempting to flank. Uh, he actually went only negative four, 31 kills, 35 deaths. Uh, he is top frag of his team. Uh, he actually did a great job. Uh, we saw some good uh, uh, sort of uh, frag power on the inside by Sobek as well. Uh, and then Mr. Bubbles should also be noted. Uh, negative 13, so he had a much rougher second half. But, uh, you know, he is a very important part of that particular map. And unfortunately, uh, Ashen just got the better of him quite a few times. All right, now the second map... In the second half, I, I want to say. Second in half, the first half, right. he was doing very really well. That's right. So in the uh, next map here, let's go ahead and take a look. We do have Paris. This one is a very LA-centric map. I got to start moving on over to it. Uh, it is a map where, uh, uh, you know, you're sort of, you're going to be seeing uh, uh, both teams make sure they have their absolute best in terms of LA. Uh, play uh, whether that be you know their best LA in general or a second LA to complement their other one uh, We're going to be seeing some good LA strength here uh, by both teams. We'll see if there's any roster changes um, Either side might might or might not change their roster uh, just because they're, they're both being uh, some pretty strong lineups already uh, We're just hearing a whisper. I just don't want to talk over the refs. I'm not sure if, if he's if, you know if he's trying to, to say anything <laughs> I don't know. Okay who knows? Just heading on over to Paris right now on the OBS cam. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this back into the in-game screen. So this is Paris. Again, for anybody that doesn't know this map super well, um, this map uh, focuses heavily on L building control, which is right here where the point is. Uh, we have two spawns, uh, one on the south uh, western side, that is going to be, it looks like we're full starting, and then one on 1 KPM's northeastern side. Uh, and then this L building, as I've already said, this is a major control uh, uh, building here. Uh, you really want to have L uh, roof as well as maybe even nest control uh, because that gives you a ton of coverage over the point itself, which itself does not have a lot of uh, sort of cover on it. Uh, so you really do need this area here, the nest area. Those are two extremely important uh, areas to have for point control. Now, there are other buildings. The V and the I shape here get utilized quite a lot for flanks. If you are starting on southwestern side, for instance, you can use this V to head inside relatively safe, get to the I building, and then you're on the back end of where uh, the northeastern side is going to be you know, sort of regrouping uh, to get an L push going. Uh, good spot here to actually hold and get a quick uh, sort of um, uh, uh, surprise a uh, couple of picks off. Uh, now, if you stay in there for too long, you can see you can get pincered pretty uh, easily here coming in from the northeastern side, go from sandwich, and you can just see right here inside, not a lot of cover there if you're on this side. And of course, if you're on this side, you are just spotted outright by the uh, by that door there. So it can be a bit of a risk, but we will probably see both teams uh, utilize this eye building uh, as well. 
Now, there's also uh, a couple spots on the point that should be noted. This tree right here, you can cap as long as you are right on this tree. So it gives you just a little bit of cover, but it's not super safe. I mean, you, if you think you can just jump up onto this tree and you can just cap, no problem. Um, you're much more effective if you're just going to hit maybe, say, this box. But still, you are exposed. You have to have some level of control, at least maybe on the roof uh, or uh, just around uh, the entire map itself. Just, just to be able to, you know, get that cap off. It, it is important to actually do. Let's make sure they know that the cast is ready because I did forget to tell them that. Um, it looks like we might have no sub, yeah, no subs for either side as well. So, no subbies. No subs. No subs. I don't believe that. Looking at these teams. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Well, all right then. You know what, Galos? I can't wait to read the I.O. channels after this regarding map boundaries I, I, uh, and rule enforcement. I, some I, people are going to be mad. I, I can't wait. I always forget where the boundaries are. I've spent so many tournaments I've seen, and some tournaments don't even really make like map maps where there's like a like a like a yellow this highlight. Is for this one. I even I, I know this rule that like I know one of the map boundaries that was broken because I was arguing about it <laughs> and it got changed because it was even more restrictive beforehand and I argued that it was too restrictive and it got changed to what it is now because I argued about it with Smellbot. That's why I remember that one and I saw someone put in it, but I'm not a ref, so I'm not gonna, like gonna go out <laughs> calling one out here. But you know, I can't wait to read the argument no that's what i live for well unfortunately you're gonna seeing have people to. seeing people argue on the internet about maps and then <laughs> again, side 66. again though like it's always different every tournament's always a different map boundary yeah. it's always uh it's just it's such a pain in the ass I... see galos this is why you sit on your team and then you study all the maps <laughs> i did this by the way why, uh... I forced Saiyan to sit down and study the map docs. Why don't we just use custom maps for this? I don't understand. We can just use mm. maps that don't need these map boundaries. Is someone ping a send? <laughs> Alright, so I think we're just waiting here on uh, on the ref to make the call that we're going to get started. It is already getting extremely hot. I might have to turn that air conditioner on. Yeah, it's like fucking 30 degrees in my room. I don't know what that is in freedom units, but it's like uh, 80, probably like uh, 82 86. degrees. Ugh, 86. I, I don't think I could live in that either. That's very, yeah, we very bad. We don't have AC in Europe. That's terrible. Oh, feel for you. Well, well, sp more specifically, I'm warm. feeling my AC for you. It feels very it cool. Did, it didn't used to get that warm around here, Carlos. You know, like 10 years ago, it was a lot colder. <laughs> crazy how that works. That's crazy. Hmm. <laughs> It's actually worse in France, like every year they have uh, deaths to heat now because they don't have mm. AC either in most buildings and it gets even warmer over there. It's most of Europe, doesn't it? Most of them don't have, uh, most, mostly don't have AC. Some cause... of the southern ones like Spain and Italy, some people do, but it's still not as common as it is in the US, I'm pretty sure. Something did mysteriously make it warmer. Who knows? Who knows what Who that knows? was? Who knows? <laughs> I, like I we're thought finally... it was on me. <laughs> we're finally getting ready here. Uh, looks like TR just made their call, so Ref should be making the uh, call here in just a second. Match will start on the next tick in 60 seconds. Okay. So, as per last time, I will watch the uh, uh, full team once again. I am very curious to see what they do for their LA uh, strength, uh, as that is going to be a, a, a kind of a critical part of this map. And, uh, you know, if, if the last map uh, showed us anything, it is that they need to worry about L.A. power, even with Mr. Bubbles on their side. Uh, I, if I were them, you know, I'd be putting a second L.A. up there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who. Who do, who do you think they might uh, put up there if they need a second up? Well, ideally you'd want one day to play, but I don't think he's around. Doesn't so they're like probably going to play Sobek. Okay. Which is... But I don't think Sobek is a good L.A., honestly. Well, plus, we saw Sobek was actually a good heavy, so I'm not sure that would be the best idea. Yeah. Maybe anybody that could, like, flex at least a little bit. 15 seconds. Uh, maybe that would be just the, just the right call. Even if they're not, like, an amazing LA or anything, just someone who can just, just go up there and help out uh, probably would be, would Five, be the, the good four, move. Three, two, one, match start. All right, let's see, uh, see who we got. 
Single LA, it's still Mr. Bubbles. The rest, Heavies and Luke Cosmo still on both. Same exact squad comp as Ghana. It's a bit of a surprise. Double LA, double LA for one KPM. Oof, that's going to be very rough on Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles does get some spots off, though, and he does get a little bit of damage on Ash, but he does he have to now deal shield. with... Uh, he got half his HP, Gullus, and you say a little bit. A little bit of damage. Yeah. I mean, by the time Ashen gets into position for him to actually do something, uh, Ashen's already back to full health. And there he goes. He nope, does trade Ashen out with dies. Ashen, but Essing is still alive. And Essing actually has swapped from Bolt to LA now. So it could be a very rough one here for the full team uh, if things don't change. I don't see the script uh, working on my side. Uh, let me just check the other one real quick. Oh, no, they just forgot to start the katana. Ah, very cool. <laughs> mm, sick. Oh, you. Did it... Hold on a moment. Let me just... Okay, it looks it, like it's working, working now. Uh, Here, let me refresh mine real quick so that way it'll work. There we go. Old. Okay, we're good now. All right, anyway, back to our match. Scores are now 3 to 4. Uh, there might be a little bit of a... Uh, uh, a little bit more as well. Oh, uh, Pavel's saying script 3 has the proper score. It does, okay. It started at the correct time. Okay, let me just take a look real quick. Make sure we have the right one for everybody. Yeah, okay, script 3 seems correct. There we go. Swapped it out for you. So score is now 11 to 5, and, uh, you know, 12 to 5 actually now. And 1kpm uh, doing pretty good uh, so far. To the moment, you can prevail. Corer here getting taken out as he pushes inside. Uh, this is 1kpm just really kind of locking out uh, inside of L building. Felsing here with a push outside. Takes with Cosmo. Goes down. No, he doesn't go down. I take it back. He's still alive. G power there to back up. Oh, no, he's finally dead there. I thought he was actually going to get away with that. Oh, Plate also getting taken out there. So, uh, Fool here with a couple of picks. They have some uh, some numbers now. They're doing the numbers, Gretchen. Mr. Bubbles here on Pixel Walk, going straight for Nest. He doesn't have to worry about it. It looks like his teammates got it, but he's getting dropped by Ash. Turns around, gets taken out by Ash. Looking for so back and trades him out. Scores 21 to 12. Now full once again uh, getting regrouped on spawn. Let's take a look at where they are actually. I think uh, should be everybody coming back now. We had just Luke Cosbo was uh, inside, but he gets taken out by Essing. Empowered here, heading up to doorway. Mr. Bubbles on pixel walk. Mr. Bubble's not even going for roof uh, anymore. I think it's telling that they've kind of given up that that potential uh, uh, strength of this map because it's just not going to happen. He can't get that roof control without at least a second LA. And then you still have to deal with both Ashen and Essing, even with the second LA. They're, they're very good yeah. LAs. I think as a single LA on Paris, you can fight double LA, but Ashen and Essing is arguably the best LA combo in it's extremely the strong. game right now. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wouldn't even know who comes close as an LA combo, honestly. They're playing so well together right now. And, um, uh, yeah. the Bobo, uh, Alvester, Alvester and me. Yeah, true. Two idiots. <laughs> so back here, uh, getting it taken out. The Cosbo there with a body. Mr. Bubbles Frost and, uh, plus Lizard? Nah. Frost doesn't play anymore. Ooh, sup plus Gan. You know, I would think that would be super nah. strong, but I actually, it was mostly just sup carrying Gan last time I yeah. saw that combo. Which Every is time ironic. I see that, Gan, is, Gan turns off his brain and just gets carried <laughs> by sup. Yeah, you know, I, Gan can play really well. I, yeah, Gan's I, extremely good. To, people always think I hate on Gan. I like Gan, and I think he's a good player, but he oftentimes he just turns off his brain and he's like an <laughs> idiot. Oh my god, speaking of, the entire full team getting taken out there, Plate even got a double there. Ugh. That is an unfortunate first five minutes for the full team. Scores right now 36 to 18. Full, uh, uh, oof, they are, they are down. And it I is... miss Frost as well. And I think arguably Frost and Lizard are probably still a stronger LA combo if Frost came back. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, played here, looking inside Hollow. He does take out Korra. 
And that is more spawn locks here for 1 KPM. They are, they are absolutely dominating on this uh, first half of the second map. Mr. Bubbles here, just kind of behind the IA building. I'm pretty sure he was spotted out, so they probably know he's there. It looks like even Essing knows. Yeah, Essing actually just got the spot off on him. Oh, Joe Cream is also over here. Just oh, is, what is he using? Is he using a blitz? Yeah, that's allowed. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I know it's allowed, but oh, just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that's what you expect on Paris. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a very good uh, uh, weapon for inside. Also had an super what's close. What's the one called? With like the. You know the ball magazine? What's that one called? Not uh, Amos, it's the other one. <laughs> Wait, the ball magazine? You talking about the drum magazine? The no, it stuff? looks like balls, yeah. What? Have you never seen it? It looks it's like a, balls. That's a drum magazine. What do you mean a ball magazine? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find the person who uses it, and you watch their reload animation and tell me it doesn't look like balls. <laughs> It has two. It has two drums uh -huh. and a shaft in the middle, Gallo. That's where you connect. It. It. That's what drum magazine. <laughs> yeah, but it's a <laughs> ball. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> All right. I'm so, so glad we're not getting paid for this because we would not be allowed to talk about this. Why can't we talk about the ball magazines, please? Imagine being like a Counter Strike caster, <laughs> and you like you get paid, and everything's nice, and there's production quality, and all that shit, and it's cool. But then yeah. you can't talk about ball magazines. Yeah. What's I would the hate point? that. I would hate that. <laughs> oh, fool! By the way, just took out one uh, LA. Does get taken out though. Ashen here coming down and taking out. Uh, uh, I believe that was Mr. Bubbles there. But they are getting a little bit of control inside of second floor. Finally, we actually finally see them uh, uh, actually break in here. It's been a bit. But uh, this could actually be where they can potentially turn things around. They have stopped the cap. That's important. Uh, so we'll see if they can actually do a little bit of spawn logging here. Of course, things are never really over this early in a match. So Fool uh, can still come back. And in, in fact, look, they just actually got an early pick off of Joe Crema there. Sobek here also getting some damage off on Felsi. That's going to back him off for a little bit. Can't, uh, can't see a push from 1 KPM happening anytime soon. Unless we're looking at Sandwich where they are pushing. Played here, going and meeting LTL, trades him out. Ashen also just doing a little bit of damage from Roof. Fool still holding off the 1 KPM team. Joe Krima taking out Lucasbo inside. Getting conked though. Oh, but he misses it. Ah, uh, there's Ashen taking out Core. It looks like Core has actually swapped to double LA, so that's good. Fool actually has uh, 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 done a second LA. And uh, I think that also means Lucasbo swapped. Yes, Lucasbo has swapped over to uh, Heavy instead of Bolt. That's probably also a smart play. Um, I'm sure you've heard uh, your your team as well as my. I've heard from, from many times on my team as well. And Bolt's not super effective on Paris all the time. Mr. Bubbles here, just looking for intel. He doesn't want to go full aggressive up to that top floor, but he gets taken out anyway. Gylo there with a very, very quick kill. You know, Joe Klima, I, I know, has been taming a lot of dinos, and so Gylo and Felsi and Essing actually in arc. so I, I guess that was good training, it seems. So if you want to get better, if you want to be like them and beat Fool, you just go play arc. Yeah, it's very, you, know, you tame a couple dinosaurs and all of a sudden you're incredible at plant. I mean, it's basically the same as playing plant side if you think about it. Yeah, I am thinking about it. It's a lot like fishing, too. Fishing? How is it like fishing? Uh, you, you, gotta, you, you, you throw the line in, and you pull back an alvester sometimes. Hmm. It's basically the same thing as fishing. You get a good one, you get a bad one sometimes. I think saying if you want to aim like like Gan, you should play also is like an anti-advertisement for also. <laughs> oh, there is the cap. It might have actually gone through earlier too. I'm actually not sure. But that does mean that uh, the script isn't showing it automatically, so we'll have to be added in later. 
Scores right now 75 to 52 in favor of 1kpm. Fool's still not out of this, out of this. They have actually gotten a lot of trades off uh, every push. So they're they're not down by, by an, you know, in, 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 uh, in, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, uh, un, yeah. unwinnable, unrecoverable, unrecoverable. They're not down by an unrecoverable amount. They're down like 30 points, guys. Mm -hmm. 35 yep. almost. 33, yep. you know. It's still doable, though. I mean, they have to get a lot of control. They basically have to get L control. Uh, uh, I would say for the rest of the half, really. Uh, but they can still at least make some of the points back up. Keep some of the points uh, from getting too bad as well. And, uh, oh, well, here comes uh, 1kpm, by the way. Back up in the second floor, as I was saying that. So back here, look for an angle potentially on the, on the alleyway. This is a super risky flank, but, uh, you know, if you got nobody worrying about uh, respawns coming in, might actually be a good uh, worthwhile put. Looks like Lucasbo also uh, doing some damage inside of I. We'll check on him in a moment. So back here on that second floor, looking for anybody, anybody to kill, and he's not seeing anything. <laughs> Joe Crema here taking out Korra in the, uh, in the L. Gets taken out by a, a flying empowered, though. This is actually uh, turning out to be a decent uh, little hold here for the full team. Getting a decent amount of kills, not a lot of feeds. There we go. Also uh, uh, claiming Joe Crema off of Sandwich. They're maintaining that roof control a little bit as well with Empowered up there now helping out with Mr. Bubbles. This has actually been a good swap. Lucasbo and Play trading out inside of I. Love that Liberator going in for an I push. Let's see what this does. Does take out Felsey. Is he going to meet alt spot? Gylo's over here. He does need to worry about it. Joe Crema also. Oh, Joe Crema taking him. Good push here by 1kpm. We might see a, uh, a full clear here. And Shane actually... has been trying to link this image for a solid... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> two minutes? What is this image? What is this? <laughs> Send the image to me. I can link. <laughs> Looks like Lucasbo getting taken out inside of Sandwich. Played here on point three. They've actually gotten a an all right amount of kills. I think it's been trades all the way through though. So scores right now 94 to 66. Allow yourself to lose. Still well in the lead for 1 KPM, but uh, Fool's not letting them just completely run away with this. Mr. Bubbles here. Getting, maybe some intel. I didn't see a spot go off for that last player. You just ran in front of him. He does get the uh, the spot off of Essing though. That's important. A little bit of a uh, little bit of damage off on Essing, and Essing goes down. Mr. Bubbles also down. That's going to be LA control here for the one KPM team. Corer here stuck behind a bookcase. What he takes out uh, Essing there. Good kill by Corer. Going for a cubby now. We're rounding out to the last minute and a half of this first half. A new conglomerate has taken the facility. Felsey here making a push inside of Cubby. Ah! Luka is that uh, Sobek? No, Lucasbo taking him out, though. 1kpm hey. now back inside of second floor. Scores 105 to 74. Full still not able to uh, you know, completely recover, but they have not lost uh, any more. Uh, it's, been, it's been about this 25-point difference this whole time. 20-ish, 25, 30-point difference. We'll now back up in second floor. They've taken out Plaid and a good teaming there. Takes out Ashen, Felsey down, Joe Crema down. Only losing, only losing one actually. Full here, gaining control of second floor. Scores 108 to 80 as we round out the last 15 seconds of this match. You sure? There's, there's a lot of numbers in this, Kellos. There are. There were. There were a couple of numbers. A couple of numbers. 
It's um not as many numbers as say like a twelve v twelve. No, no, but you think that people like casting and this half, and half would be good at numbers, right? I would obviously. So I, would, numbers I would assume things like that. Half scores are one hundred eighteen one kpm to full eighty. All right. So you heard the oh, what the hell? You heard the ref there. Uh, make that call. It's one hundred and eighteen two fools 80 uh so it looks like the cap was not counted into that earlier score that i told you uh so right now uh that should be right uh on this one let me actually just swap this board over to this so we at least have that one working all right so uh let's take a look at our individual scores here uh it looks like uh for the 1 kpm side uh, ashen uh, as well as Essing, actually, both of those two LAs uh, coming out with the same amount of kills, 24 and 24. They are tied for top frag of the game. Uh, but Ashen also coming away a little on top in terms of net. 15 net score, Essing only 9, but still extremely good job here by both of those two. Uh, Gylo, Played, and Joe Crema also, well, I should say, Gylo and Played are positive. Joe Crema is only net 0, not too bad. Felsi, having a little bit of a rough one, but that's okay. Not too terribly bad. It's uh, only negative 5. Uh, and then the rest of the full team, uh, having a tough, tough game. Um, looks like Empowered is at least net zero. He has 20 kills. He's actually helping out quite a lot on that roof, it looks like. Uh, Mr. Bubbles there also, you know, he had a very rough first bit of that, uh, first half. So it, it's understandable that he is negative right now. Having to deal with two LAs is one thing. Having to deal with both Essing and Ashen, uh, as the double LA against you at the single LA for so long. That's another thing entirely. That is a, uh, that is something nobody wants to be in. That is a position you do not absolutely want. Uh, then we, of course, have So back there at negative 1, 16, and 18. Uh, he was doing okay uh, for a little while there. And then uh, LTL, Cosbo, and Core were having a little bit of a tougher game. Uh, so hopefully we can see Fool kind of recover a little bit. Um, again, we got to see, now that Empowered and Mr. Bubbles are both on the roof, we got to see some of that roof control uh, from the Fool team. It is still doable. They can still do it, but they have to play very well. And uh, honestly, from what we saw on the last bit of that uh, first half, they still have the potential to do it. Uh, we just got to see, uh, you know, what what um, what what sort of synergy these two have uh, with each other when it comes to playing against uh, those two, the the Ash and Essing uh, Wombo combo, if you will, because uh, that is a that is a strong uh, combination. That is. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and put this back into the in-game screen. Uh, let me also adjust my volumes real quick while it's on black screen for just a moment. Nobody freak out. Hold on just a moment. There we are. That's just so we don't have that double uh, that double beeping going on. All right. So it looks like we've got no subs. Um, now, the differences between these two sides uh, is not, it's not massive, but there are some differences. Mostly has to do with sort of the roof uh, control that you can do, because there is a head glitch on okay, this side. Okay, start in the next tick in 40 seconds. And there's a great angle Gretchen actually showed me uh, here on the north side, where you, you can actually look down on this balcony very, very effectively as well. So some good angles here for both of these sides. There's just a slight differences. Uh, really, it also comes down to the point as well, where you can get a little bit uh, of a safe position here behind this box. If you've got nest control, uh, as well as you get this corner tree sort of push 15. around uh, even quicker than your flank would be. So once again, we're going to be looking at the full team, potentially for the last time of the map as well. If they if they lose this map, Five, uh, we are not moving four, on to the third three, map. Two, one, second half start. That would be unfortunate. It would be, it would be, because the full team has played extremely well uh, throughout the whole tournament. Uh, but, you know, of course, 1 KPM, you know, they've been playing just oh, just incredibly. And, and, of course, we, we've seen some very, very good stuff from, from the 1 KPM side overall in the tournament. Too. Oh, my God, a great first pick with a fragnate on Joe Crema. And a flank by Mr. Bubbles and a pincer here from the Cubby side. This could be a full, ah, well, they did lose one, but almost a full clear here by the, the oh, actually, oh, look at that. Essing actually takes a, a second player there as he uh, just before he leaves the building. Very ballsy of him, but uh, we did note his uh, his his uh, ball magazine uh, from previously. That's not what I said. I believe it had something to do with ball magazines. <laughs> Mr. Bubbles here getting backed off of that roof. 
Oh, Ashen, it looks like actually took them out. Meanwhile, great push here by the 1KPM side. They are actually getting to corner tree. They do have to worry about a flank from Luke Hosbo. He had a suppressor on his MSW. You can't hear him, but they somehow turned around anyway. Rather suspicious. Don't know how they could hear him. Mr. Bubbles here, the only one close enough to the building. He's just going to wait a little bit for really making his push. He gets spotted out early there. That's not great for him. He, he can't really afford a, a spot like that. He needs to be able to help Empowered out, who's actually getting uh, dinked off the roof. Lockdown, I'm Excellent sorry? Work. Oh, okay. A wait, I'm sorry? Amorish just locked? Yeah, who needs Amorish? Uh, <laughs> I mean, hopefully nobody. Hold on, hold on a second, what? Okay, no, it looks fine. With you. Do not falter. <laughs> that was weird. Fool here getting a little bit of control on that second floor. Sobek actually does take out Gylo off the cup. Sand ghost capping Amorish, as expected. Trying to get his A7. That's not what you get A7 from anymore, Gylos. Yeah, how would you know? You're such a fucking boomer, <laughs> oh my god. Fool. Getting uh, good positions actually here. They can't go too aggressive, they don't have the, nearly the numbers, and it looks like that's not really how they want to play this anyway. Oh, good trade here, Joe Cream and Sobek. Love that Liberator coming around on Pixel Walk on a flank too. But a drop down by both Essing and Ashen means they're taking out Nest. And there goes the last player inside the building. And Empowered also going down. That is full map control by 1KPM. Scores 138 to 97 in favor of 1KPM. You are better than this. Show them. Just looking for another full regroup. 1KPM still not going super, super aggressive. We're seeing a couple of members. It looks like uh, Essing actually just managed to, to shuffle the hell out of Mr. Bubbles there. Uh, gave his teammate enough time to kill him. Does eventually go down, though. Oh, full inside of I building here. Might be able to stop this push. Oh, no. Corey getting taken out. Lucasbo with the suppressor, though, and a bunny hop. He takes out, uh, he takes out Plate. Bot getting shot from behind. And again from behind. So back here to help. Cosmo with another bunny hop. He really loves his bunny hops today. LTL taking out Essing. And we might uh, see an opening here for a push. Full going on in. Don't see anybody inside the building again. It looks like uh, the 1KPM team has actually moved out again. Is that C4? It's allowed. Doesn't look like, well, I mean, I know it's allowed, but it doesn't look like it hit anybody. I find your effort lacking. Essing here on the corner top. Empowered also on roof. Looking for uh, some intel right now. He doesn't want to push without knowing at least where the LAs are. It's a smart play. Mr. Bubbles also finally making it up to him. Some spots going off for both of these two. G-powered here. Might be able to get a little damage off. Is he going to do a drop down? He is. Empowered likely going to go down here. He does. Scores now 155 to 108. Ten minutes left in the second half. Again, this is potentially the last map uh, if Fool loses this. Which they are currently losing by about 40-ish points. That's a, that's a substantial lead. It is a and good... And that's also cap now. Yep, and there's the cap, yeah. So that should be should be around 50-ish points. Cosmo with a push inside. Trades out with play. And in Cubby here, we do see Ashen. Now he's going to head back, I guess. Hostile 
Mr. Bubbles looking for intel there. I don't think he got the spot off, though, unfortunately. Mr. Bubbles seems to be failing to get the spots off a lot of the times, which is weird. He's a very experienced LA. Yeah. Sometimes you just get fucked by the server on spot. That's true, yeah. Ooh, Mr. Bubbles getting taken out there off of Nest as he attempted to make a push inside. Luke Cosmo and Love That Liberator both inside. Cubby get taken out by Gyla with a double. Score is now 164 to 116 in favor. 1 KPM, 8 minutes and 30 seconds left in this second half. Gylo here on an aggressive angle. Gets a bit of damage off on Mr. Bubbles there. He himself is kind of exposed here, though. Oh, that, that could have been really bad for him if he had stayed there, but uh, C4 missed him. That Okay, that's who's throwing it. It's Korr. Korr. Swapping, uh, uh, used, uh, opting to use C4 instead of medkits is always an interesting position to take. Eh. <laughs> well, sometimes you see people frag out with it and then your team can push. That's true. Sick. That's true. You can you can definitely utilize it to get uh, somebody off of an alt spawn uh, area if they're really camping it hard. Ooh, Essing there taking out LTL early on that one. Sobek also cleaning uh, Joe Crema off a of point. Another C4 still failing to hit anybody though. Poor Cor. He does not seem to be getting his picks with that. If he constantly dies before popping a med kit, why not C4? Well, I mean, you're not wrong, but you're, you know, you would probably hope that you could get your med kit off. At least have it for the hope. Oh, then you shouldn't have that hero, Skullus. Damn it. It's always the Euros. All right. Ash in here, we drop down, but he gets taken out. Jager? You know, whatever happened to the, uh, to the other... <laughs> the other potential Jaeger. I've still mm. never heard anything of it. I don't think anyone has. Yeah. Alright. 1kpm heading back inside the building. They have got a uh, extremely handy lead right now. Uh, at this point, they can just go full aggression uh, and turn their brains off, and they'll probably still be able to continue being on top. Um, they're they're just in a, just a phenomenal position in terms of points. And of course, we have to keep mentioning that LA play is just extremely good. I and mean, we've basically uh, barely seen uh, um, both Empowered and Mr. Bubbles be able to, you know, completely take the roof uh, uh, and just have it for the whole time. I mean, look, look right here. We've got Empowered here shuffling his ass to get back off the building. He does make it, too. But, of course, Essing's back there as well. And eventually Empowered does go down because the rest of his team is there to support. Lots and lots of good control here by that uh, that L root. A new conglomerate has taken the facility. All right, Fool is regrouped back on the L. Nobody there on the flank either. This could be a good chance for them to make a push. Let's see what they do. Cora here going right inside. I was thinking there might be a drop down, but it didn't really matter because inside the building it was Joe Cream anyway. He takes him out and Cubby. Oh, Ash gets taken out by Mr. Bubbles. Beautiful job. Uh, what the hell's going on with the script, by the way? <laughs> Just noticed that it stopped. Stopped uh, counting everything. Yep. Let me, uh, let me check the other script real quick and see if that's uh, working. I think the other one might be working this time. Uh, let me just swap it back over. This one is slightly off though on time. Uh, for the first half time. Hour, yeah, yeah. I, they might have adjusted the points to be accurate on points Maybe. though. All right, so what we're looking at now is 200 to 134 in favor of 1KPM still extremely well in the lead. More than um, 60 points even, actually. Fool here, trying to get regrouped back on their spawn area. And Power taking a ton of damage there. Shield's almost completely cracked. And he goes down as well. 
not able to make too much of a difference there. Oh! What the hell was that? Is that an archer? Lucasbo with the engineer play. Let's see what... Uh, let's, what's, <laughs> let's see what happens here. <laughs> it's an interesting play. But you know, sometimes you do need ammo. Felsi here trading out with Mr. Bubbles. Lucasbo going down. And then love that Liberator here. The only one left near point. Takes a lot of damage and he gets pincered. Oh, look at that. 1 KPM coming from every single angle, including a window. Mr. Bubbles also getting taken out there by a blitz from Joe Crema. Joseph Creamer. Sobek and Korra here. Now back on L. Looking for an angle. But Korra gets taken out early. Essing with... Look at this angle that he had. That is a that is a difficult angle to continuously shoot that GD7 from. He, he did it. Joe Crema here getting taken out by Sobek. But... Yeah, Essing there with a flying kill. Gets traded out at least though. Ashen here killing out Empowered. And Mr. Bubbles cleaning him. Oh, actually... Who was that? That was Korra taking him out with a vandal. All the way over here on the rocks. What the hell? Just has that, that overwatch position there. So back here with a, uh, a move up to second floor. Takes out Plade. Takes out Felsi. Takes out Joe Crema. So back here in a great position now. Two minutes left in the match. Scores right now 221 to 148 in favor. 1 KPM. Obviously, uh, 1 KPM is going to win this handedly. Um, they could, they could. I think they, at this point they could probably literally just throw themselves into the building one at a time, and they would probably still be able to come out on top. I think this is the time. That uh, is kind of the result we expect. Yeah. Though. Well, a little bit, yeah. Fool, I will say, has played extremely well throughout the tournament. So, uh, you know, it, it was it wasn't fully expected for me, at least. Uh, I was, uh, you know, this was this was uh, definitely something uh, I was I was a little excited for. Uh, and honestly, they did play uh, decently well. I think they just made some mistakes, um, specifically on Ganon, that I can point out. Paris, uh, maybe swapping that LA over earlier would have helped, but uh, you know, of course. I don't know that Paris would have gone any different even with that because we are still talking about Essing and Ashen uh, the, on the LA game, and it's it's that is something that is just extremely hard to deal with, no matter what team you have up there. And we've gone over many times how important LA uh, play is on Paris, and uh, you know these two these two here uh, essentially mean you're locking down that roof, and you're locking down potentially even second floor of L, and you're locking down the point uh, because you just have such strength up there on that roof. There we go with Ashen with a drop down, avenging Essing. I don't think I've ever seen both of those two players go down uh, uh, together uh, at all. Now we have Felsi here in corner eye. He's looking at alt spawn there, it looks like. Felsi takes one. Meanwhile, Joe Crema over here from Sandwich. Getting taken out, though, by uh, Korra. Who gets taken out once again, traded out. Archer play here. Gotta be careful. There's an engineer back there, Lucasmo. <laughs> ah, and there is time. End of game, end of game. 1 KPM wins with 246. Pool has 153. Oh, and then the points were adjusted on uh, the script, so we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our scoreboard. We can see what might have gone wrong here. Uh, so 1 KPM, you can see just a little under 100 points again on the second map as well with a just a dominating lead. Taking a look at our individual scores, we do see Gylo here is top frag of the game, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. At 50 kills, 22 net score, 28 deaths, uh, and at 52% HSR as well. Quite a high HSR. We saw a lot of uh, quick kills by him, so that's actually not super surprising. 
Um, very, very good plays here by uh, by Gilo. But of course, the uh, MVPs are definitely Essing and Ashen uh, for the 1KPM side. Again, if you didn't have those two players, this would have been a lot closer for Fool. But Essing and Ashen being up there just gives so much power uh, to such a critical element of how this map plays that, uh, you know, no matter what the result would have been on the inside, those two absolutely are just, just a, a dominating force when it comes to this particular kind of a map. Uh, so very, very good on both Essing and Ashen. Ashen here at 26 net, by the way, 43 kills, 17 deaths. Only 17 deaths. That is crazy low. Uh, and then Essing there, 11 net, 37 kills, uh, 26 deaths. Ashen was just one hell of an LA on this particular uh, uh, match. Very, very good job there by Ashen. Uh, and then the full side, it actually looks like Sobek went positive. He has a uh, net one. He actually managed to, to, to get a positive out of that one. We did see some good plays by Sobek, too. You know, a, a doubles and triples uh, throughout the match uh, as it went on. So uh, Sobek, at least, you know, trying his best. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, it's 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 super hard. You know, it's, it's a super, super tough match. You're coming into this uh, having to deal with uh, an absolute powerhouse on the roof. And, of course, extremely good uh, heavies as well on the 1KPM side on the inside. So. Um, you know, he did his best, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, this is the result. And, you know, having a positive despite that, that's still pretty good. Uh, he should probably feel pretty good about himself there. Um, the rest of the team having a very, very tough time. And taking a look at the LA game specifically, Mr. Bubbles, negative uh, 14 and Empowered, negative 5. Man, they had a just a tough time dealing with those uh, those other two LAs. Uh, so it's understandable, though. Again, it's it's, it's they're a extremely effective combo, uh, no matter the map. But uh, on a map where we're... You know, LA play is so important. You know, that's that was, ooh, that was a tough one. All right, uh, we're just waiting on our uh, our team captains. Uh, uh, I believe uh, because this is now going to be uh, uh that was the last um uh, uh map because there was only uh, uh it's it's best two out of three and there was two wins uh there for the one KPM side. So uh, oh, there we go. Your channel. So we've got, uh, uh, let's see here. We User have Sobek here for the full team and Ashen here for the 1KPM team. First of all, Ashen, congratulations on your win. You guys played so extreme. And more specifically, you and uh, uh, you specifically played extraordinarily well, too, on, on that second map. <laughs> you and uh, Essing were just an absolute crazy combo up there on that roof. Um <laughs> Going into Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, we we yeah, you absolutely a dominating force up there. Um, so going into this, um, uh, I did hear that uh, uh, Fool's uh, first pick was uh, Ganon. Um, so going into this uh, particular matchup, were you uh, were you expecting to sort of uh, have to worry about a lot of like their LA and flanks going in on Ganon because it seemed like you guys really just uh, utilized the hell out of those flanks a lot of the times. Oh, sorry, Ashen. That was for Ashen. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was for me. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, um, we have people in the team that really like flanking. So obviously on a map like Gun Southern, where you have so many options for that, and they can be so powerful, people are always going to take the opportunity. I personally hate the map, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it is, it's, it's, yeah, I've heard that same opinion, but I love that map, but I, I definitely understand it. It is, it is a, it's a map that, uh, it's kind of, it's enraging sometimes, to be honest I with think, you. I think, you know, if, if you're a flanker, you love the map. Because, mm -hmm. like, it's just so much fun. But, like, if you're not, it's so annoying to always have someone flanking yeah. or have you on roof or something like that. It does seem like you guys, uh, uh, you know, you were you were very, very effective at flanking. Um, for for uh, Sobek, for you guys, um, again, as I stated already, this was that was your first uh, pick uh, map. That was the map you actually wanted to play on. Um, what was the the hope uh, that you could get out of that map? What was the strategy going into that map? Because I, I we didn't really we were we were uh, wanting to know exactly what happened there uh, uh, to make that kind of play out the way it did. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the hope was that we would win that map. Um, maybe we should have played Paris first and and then our map second because I think like two of our guys West Coasters woke up like ten minutes before the match. Oh, so they didn't, oh no. uh, yeah, that's they rough didn't have any have any warm-up time really so we probably should have made our pick second that might have helped a little bit but yeah no, i mean it was well played by 1kpm and i'm uh i'm happy with the team either way you know regardless when or lose for most of them it was their first pil experience so or not pil uh, io experience so similar thing it's 66 yeah, yeah same shit 
Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys did actually do uh, pretty well throughout the tournament. Uh, you know, this obviously this will be the last match uh, for the full team uh, uh, for this particular tournament. Uh, but do you guys have any plans uh, going forward to, to stick around and, and play out some more tournaments? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely the goal. I don't think this team is, is going to go anywhere. It'll probably make some, uh, some additions to it. Like really the, the goal behind the team in the first place was to just get more, more goblins in the outfit, uh, experience <laughs> in 6v6. So, so we have the, the Fiji and the full team now, and maybe who knows, we'll, we'll get some more guys. Cause we really played with like the same six all tournaments. So we definitely need some, some more depth to it. Well, it's great to hear. I, I, you know, I always, always enjoy hearing about, uh, you know, more teams uh, being made, and that's that. It definitely sounds like you guys are gonna uh, uh, have a good time, most likely in the next one too, because you know, it, you guys did fantastic here. A little more experience and a couple more players there. I, I think you guys would be uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so, uh, hope to see you in the next one. Uh, for the one KPM team, you guys are gonna be playing against uh, DF. It looks like tomorrow, actually. You excited <laughs> yep. for that, Matt? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> it's always a scary opponent to go against, but <laughs> I think, you know, it, it's either our last match or not, so we're looking forward to it. Ironically, it's actually going to be a rematch that you won last time. Uh, yeah. We'll, so. <laughs> we'll see if that magic can happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it's, it, should, it should be a very, very interesting match. I'm very, very excited to watch it. That will be tomorrow. Uh, now, uh, we will go ahead and start wrapping things up. We do have another match that's going to be happening. Uh, Twenty UTC. Is that is that half an hour? Or is that already happening? Is that? Do you, it's in half an hour. That's half an hour. Okay, that's what I thought. So there's going to be one other match in half an hour. Everybody in chat. It's going to be Ziz versus Pog. Uh, that will be casted by Gumbo and Eternal. That's going to be a great match to watch as well. Looking forward to that. And of course, as I've already stated, one KPM versus DF tomorrow. Uh, that will be at uh, I believe nineteen hundred UTC. Uh, looking very, very good all weekend. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap things up there, everybody. Thanks for coming out and playing. Hope to see uh, hope to see everybody again uh, in the near future. Uh, and uh, uh, again, congratulations to Ashen on your win. You guys did phenomenally well. All right, bye. Uh, we'll go ahead and say bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>